Hello and welcome to my channel. My name is Lynn and I'm kind of jazzed about my video today because I'm joining for the first time a new to me collaboration with some new fun designers who, um, well, they're not new in the sense of new to content creation and designing, but this is just a new collaboration group that I'm joining. And so I feel really honored to have been invited by um, a crafty friend of mine and uh, surprised to find some other crafty friends of mine. So I'm really excited about it because I get to meet a new uh, group of crafters, which I think is always fun. And if you're excited by that, expand the description box below because I'll leave a link to all of the designers who are participating in this Halloween collaboration. I know a lot of folks really love Halloween crafting. I've started to really enjoy it myself. I actually never did it for um, up until maybe three years ago is when I started uh, Halloween crafting. I think mostly it's because I don't have kids. I have a lot of nieces and nephews, but I don't have kids, so I don't really think a lot about Halloween traditions because I feel like that's mostly something enjoyed by kids. And uh, although I, I do know that lots of folks do Halloween costume parties, pumpkin carving parties, and I just haven't done a lot of that. So... I would have to say Halloween is starting to really grow on me as a holiday to craft for. So I'm very excited for that. And as well, we do have a collaboration playlist where you'll be able to find our videos all in one place. So if you'd like to watch all of the um, collaboration videos back to back, you could always set it on autoplay. But more importantly, the playlist is going to be really useful because this collaboration isn't just for this one video. That's why I'm really just about it. This is actually a four week collaboration. So every week, what you'll find is a new video from me featuring a holiday uh, Halloween project. And you're gonna get tons of Halloween inspiration. And we're collecting all of the videos on a single playlist so that you have one place, you don't have to hunt all of our videos down, and whether you're catching our videos the day they come out or a couple days after, all you really need to save is that one single playlist, and they will all be waiting for you there. This collaboration has been organized um, created by Debbie Alley, who is Project 39 mini albums here on YouTube. And so big thank you to Debbie and to uh, Michelle for inviting me to join this collaboration. Lots of other designers and video content creators here on YouTube are part of this collaboration. So if you're looking for video inspiration for your Halloween crafting um, and lots of different project ideas, this is one playlist you definitely want to save. And I keep saying projects because we're not just making Halloween cards. In fact, this collaboration over the next for weeks, we're going to be sharing different types of projects and each week has a different design brief. This is week one and our design brief for this week is cards or tags. Might look like I was making a card, but in fact, I'm making a tag and I'll make a couple of tags on camera in my video today. But then at the end of this video, I'm going to show you a sneaky peek at some other tags that I made and as well as some pretty cool wax seals. I have a video on that um, shortly after this one uh, comes out, so be on the lookout for that. Week two, our design brief is a mini album or folio. Week three, we're doing junk journaling or just journaling in general. And week four is pretty exciting. This will be boxes, bags, or packaging, or Halloween treats that you are going to hand out this Halloween. So I think this is such a fun way to get a lot of inspiration. And while we are making Halloween themed projects, 
What I really love about this collaboration is that we're featuring a lot of different types of projects. And yes, the theme is Halloween, but considering that you're going to be seeing mini albums, folios, junk journals, boxes, bags, I'm willing to bet that a lot of those projects you can really adapt to anything you'd like, whatever the theme happens to be. So if you're not big into Halloween crafting, still consider following this collaboration and saving that playlist because I think a lot of those um, different projects are great for Christmas and holiday crafting too. I think we're going to get a lot of really fun ideas for, um, you know, different handmade gifts because mini albums, folios, journals, boxes, bags, I think those are all really great gift ideas, uh, tags and cards included. So I think this is a, a good one to follow. I'm really excited to um, check out what everybody else has created for their collaboration uh, video this week and the next following four weeks. And a lot of the designers are new to me. So if it excites you to find new designers as well, um, do follow along and expand that description box because I'll leave links to each person's channel if you want to check them out. Now, for my tags today, I'm featuring um, some of the new releases by Spellbinders for Halloween. So this is really, really fabulous. This witch, look how big she is. She really, she would fit really beautifully on a card and she would fill up a card really well. I feel like you don't need too much more. Um, and in fact, I had to actually pull out the nested tag um, dies from Spellbinders as well because it's got a, um, a multitude of different sizes and so to get her onto a tag <laughs> I had to really make a larger tag than I was expecting but it's really great she's a lot of fun and there's not a lot of layering to her, so, you know, she's got just a couple of highlights, the hat and the shoes that are a second layer, but otherwise, gorgeous silhouette. So I really love that. Then um, for my sentiment, um, that's a really cool uh, seasonal collection of Better Press plates. So that's from the All Seasons collection and there's four different better press plates that you can get and what's really great is it's the it's the type of set where you just better press the one time and then die cut the one time and you get a boatload of sentiments that you can use really really love that um, Spellbinders has put this out because you can really, you're kind of set for all year round if you get the full collection. There's also a um, stamp set if you don't have the better press and a uh, coordinating die that goes with it. The thing is, is that I don't think they have the stamp for each of the four seasons. So I think if you want each of the four seasons, then, um, then you'll need the the better press so that's something that's something to um, consider and then these fun little characters I am putting together are from this year's Halloween release happy haunting and we saw one witch flying and she was a really lovely silhouette this witch is more I think more cutesy and paper doll so lots of different layers for her I'm actually not going to even use all of the different details that you can because you can kind of um, leave her dress really plain but there's also buttons and buckles and belts and additional little um, accents that you can add to her dress there's um, her legs which you can um, have bare if you want or you can have her wearing stockings that are striped 
because there's even stripe detailing if you'd like. So much that you can do with this to customize and you don't necessarily have to make her super witchy if you don't want. Um, but I am a little bit inspired by Wicked so I thought I would make her a little bit greenish here. And look, even her boots have little um, details on them. So fun. Now you might be able to tell from the dye that's on my magnetic sheet here that this is actually a dancing mechanism die set. The dancing mechanism is really easy, fun, interactive mechanism. So, so easy to put together. So what I'm going to do is, um, now that my witch is assembled, I'm going to start to pick my papers for the tag. Because again, this week's collaboration design brief is cards or tags. So I thought I would make a couple of tags that um, feature this new collection. And I actually have a couple more tags that I don't show myself making. They're pretty simple because they're better press designs. And that's one of the things I really love about better press because Really, you you know, you could just press out your design and they have been made really so that you don't need much more than the design itself. So you'll see a final photo of it at the very end. Now what I use to create my tag is I actually use the Spellbinders Tag Punch really great. You can make tags of various different widths. So the tag has, um, you know, positioning so that you can create up to a, I think two and a half inch wide. That's what I'm making on uh, this video here. And you can um, get three sizes. So they differ by half an inch. And it's really great because it's got that really curved decorative um, top to the tag with the hole punch through for your ribbon. So that's all set. And what's more great about this is that you can make this any length you want. So this could be a tag, but it could also be used to make bookmarks, for example. And so you can make it even longer. Just you can just cut it down to size, whatever height um, you want your tag to be. Or if you're making a bookmark, you can make it taller so that it can fit um, larger books. Whatever you'd like, choice is yours. And it's just really convenient because it cuts that nice curvy decorative top, puts the hole in and everything. So for my dancing witch here, I've just got some foam um, behind the top of my witch. And what you want to do is try to keep this foam to be the same thickness as the foam dot that you hang the legs on. So think of the legs as sort of, um, you know, those uh, doorknob hang, uh, hanging signs that you can put onto your doorknob, like the do not disturb, for example, at a hotel. Um, that's sort of the same idea behind all of the dancing mechanisms. Think of the legs as that, that hanging tag or sign and think of your foam dot as your doorknob. And so when you hang the legs on your foam dot, it's free to swing back and forth. And the body of the witch is sort of the stopper to prevent those legs from um, popping off of the foam dot. So it's as easy as that to create a uh, dancing mechanism and kind of fun to be uh, to have it as part of a tag too. So I just popped on a, uh, one of my Better Press sentiments and that completes my tag. So here's a look at uh, some tags that I've made. You'll see in the background some Better Press tags. I'm going to have a video coming up on some wax seals that are really fun. They're, these are two-tone wax seals that I've made and some of them glow in the dark. So do check out that video. When it goes live, I'll be sure to link to it at the end of my video today. Thanks for joining me and until next time, happy crafting and have a fabulous day. Bye!